What's up everybody, it's Daydreams, welcome back to the channel for another Clash Royale video. If you're new here, hit that red subscribe button down below, we do daily tournaments on the channel, live streams, and daily videos. So, guys, we're sitting with three decks that I'm comfortable with. I just lost a game versus a golem with the expo, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead, basically like Marcel said, if you can't beat them, join them. So, I'm, not, I'm just not getting... I Before the golems came around and the royal giants, I could play expo and beat bowlers giants and i could still beat those lava hounds all day but now i'm gonna have to just try either this deck or the lava hound deck they're both really good decks i'm just not really good with this one yet but i do have two level 11s in here so i could play it on the ladder as well um but i think in the tournament standard games the giant bowler might be the best for me so we're at seven wins let's see if we can at least get 10 wins with the deck i doubt it brazil esports first match I don't like playing the giant at first because in single elixir I just feel like you do not have the you don't have the Holy elixir Holy okay he's probably playing the exact same deck so this could probably be a mirror match sorry about the dog Noah if you don't know he don't care about videos he just uh barks all the time please don't walk into that Please don't go in front of the bowler musketeer. Nice. It's okay, we got good damage, he didn't. And I think we're ahead in a lick, so he used his app. So I think we're in good shape. Well, obviously we are. We're 1500 damage ahead. We're gonna place a tombstone and make him make the next move. Plus we're in within, uh, what? Three lightnings and an arrows from the tower. And he's way behind an elixir. Holy we're three, at least three elixir ahead. So here's where I don't know what to play. He's probably gonna like me here. There it is. Well, that wasn't good. That's alright. He's not gonna go through anything with it anyway. I shouldn't even zap that Mega Minion. He had never made it to my tower. Now I'm probably two elixir behind. And the good news is he didn't get that lightning off on my building. Here comes the giant push. What we're going to try to do here is we're going to try to fight on my side of the bridge. And we're going to try to basically... He's probably going to lightning these three right here. So I'm going to play a giant as well. So that way they can't just lightning that down. Uh, that was bad. Now, oh, I'm dead. I'm not dead, but it could have been better. That's how you play the deck. Within lightning range. Alright. So that's how I, you play it. You like try to counter push. Um, and the lightnings are very important, especially in a mirror match like that. That lightning, my lightnings I think were better than his. He had one or two good ones, but I think when I lightning and use that six elixir that's not gonna counter push, mine were more effective. Like I, I took out I took out stuff that uh you know it's a little better we're gonna play one more with this then we're gonna play the lava hound deck win or lose we're gonna go uh with the lava hound deck in the next match just so i can show you that one be polite he seems like a like a nice gentleman okay now i gotta once this, once this drop then i'll play that so that way the skeletons get out and the skeletons will keep that busy all right not anymore Alright, so now lightning's out of his hand. We know that, right? I hate letting that... I'm waiting for him to drop something. Look, he's taking 500 damage. Extractable or now. Hopefully 
that door, he's not gonna be able to catch me up, but now I think he's gotta be behind an elixir. I'm just playing very poorly. So we know one thing. We can't play like behind the king tower or else he's just gonna lightning everything. Our skeletons are gonna keep that busy. He's probably gonna lightning these three. I hope he does. Go ahead and lightning that giant, buddy. got a lot of good counters to us, right? He doesn't have lightning right now, though. You lose some games, and I guarantee that guy's got high trophies. I'm playing people normally above 4,000 trophies, so let's open the tournament chest. Hopefully we get something good. You know, for 100 gems, if you can get the 8 wins every time, 420 cards. If you look at what's in a super magical chest, it's like 600 and some cards. So an 8 win chest is going to get you really good rewards every time. So if you can get even above 5 wins every time, you're going to be doing good for yourself. Uh, I think you just need 3 wins to even get the amount of cards that you would. And you get 10k gold, which is really nice. That's half of a level 11 upgrade. That's a full level 10 upgrade. Skeletons, Royal Giant. Let's get the air. We got an epic. We might be getting a legendary if we get like one or two more epics. Now we can upgrade our freeze level 5 if we want. Fireball, nice. This time I've been leveling up all of my cards. A lot of them. Nice. I love Mega Minion. I've donated probably like 100 Mega Minions like in the last couple weeks. Everyone's asking for Mega Minions. Okay, moment of truth. I think we're getting epic, though. I'll take skeleton armor. That's a good start. Um, I haven't done the King's Cup challenge. Uh, should we try it? Or should we do that in a separate video? Let's go to the Grand Challenge, join. And let's try Arya's Lava Hound deck. I have not um, done that great with it. But I can see how it would be such a uh, powerful combination. Because you basically bait out the arrows. I don't have a good starting hand here, so this isn't good. And I don't know what to do. I'm just going to be burning elixir. Okay, so that's not good. Now we don't have our lava hound to deal with that. I need my lightning quick. I'm gonna try to lightning all this. No time, that tower's done. Oh no. That's so bad of me. How did I let that happen? This is so embarrassing. I I don't know why I thought like pushing the other lane might give me a chance. But instead it really hurts. That's okay, we can come back from this. I'm not really worried. We haven't even shown Lava Hound yet. Hopefully that Mega Minion doesn't get distracted. Yeah, of course it gets distracted. So he's got that Inferno Dragon, which I don't think... I don't know. I've never had much luck with it. Those were bad arrows. I could have got the... Uh, Dragon too. Sorry, we got it down close to lightning. 
Alright, it's within lightning range. So we don't really have to worry about it as much now. I'm gonna do that to try to pull his lava helm. Drop that lava hound right in the middle. Please give me enough elixir. Nice. Now that uh, big thing is not gonna be distracted. Oh, we got this guy. We got it. I don't even need the lightning. Yet. So that was a nice comeback. Wow, I was a little bit worried. So what? deck out of these two do you guys think should be my go-to deck? I think if I learn the interactions with the Lava Hound, the Lava Hound could be my go-to deck because I've got level 11 minions. Mega, I got level 11 minions and minion horde. Or, well, minions and minion horde. Um, I just need to get my rares. My rares mostly are level 7. I got like half level 7, half level 8. Really need to get that epic lightning up to level 5. Hopefully we can do that, but I don't open enough super magical chests to do that. We're like uh, two-thirds of the way to level um, 11 tower. That'd be great. If I can get to level 11 tower, I think that'll help me get past that like 4,500 range. So um, I really wish these two were level 3. My ice was level 3. Maybe I could find a spot for it in this deck. I don't I don't think there's really a spot for it though. Maybe the tombstone spot could be um, for that. But would you rather have the tombstone for a hog rider? Or the ice wizard. Let me know in the comment section down below, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you can, subscribe by hitting my logo that's showing up on the screen right now. If you want to watch another one of my videos, check down at the bottom right. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.